to my channel. My name is Kerry and hello if you are new. Today's video is a combination of recipes, meal ideas, breakfast, lunch and tea or dinner depending on where you're from and um, I like longer videos. A couple of people have mentioned before that they like a little bit longer videos so I thought I would do one. There is some voiceover because of the noise of the extractor fan and the children and everything. I couldn't talk while I was cooking sometimes and I hope you get some meal inspiration or some ideas uh, from the video. But the reason why I'm showing my face today, which I don't normally do, is because I mentioned a little while ago that I would like to do a giveaway to say thank you to everybody who subscribes. And I do. I just checked and there was about 2,435 no, of you. Mind-blowing. I, I thought maybe be a couple hundred people or whatever when I started doing it. And the reason I started doing it is because I was watching lots of other videos like um, Vicky Fulger, The Family Seesaw, uh, What's for Tea, um, Chris and Step What's for Dinner in the States and loads of different people who do these types of videos. And they're all, um, lots of them include meat, and I don't eat meat, so why don't I do one that gives people some meat-free ideas. It's good for the pocket, it's good uh, for your health and the environment, so you don't have to do all the time, but anything is, is good for all those different things. So hopefully I'll have uh, inspired a few people along the way. And so to say thank you, I would like to do a giveaway. It will run for two weeks until the 2nd of uh, March and then on the 3rd of March I'll put all the names into a randomizer and we'll pick a winner and the winner will receive um, two of my favourite cookbooks, not these ones, these are mine but your own version. <laughs> this one which is uh, Rose Elliott's Complete Vegetarian which is my go-to book for years and years and years and years. I love it and it's got loads of ideas even for sides, even if you just want it for sides. It's just got, whoop, there's my vegetarian paella which is in this video and and just loads of recipes there's another one there's the uh, red lentil croquettes I did a little while ago um I changed the recipes I don't keep them the same but that's what recipe books are for isn't it it's just for inspiration so yeah so this one hundreds of recipes in this one and also bosch which is really good for just like full meals it's vegan, but I substitute the uh, plant-based milk and the dairy-free cheese for real cheese and for real milk because I'm not vegan. But it's got some really good ideas that aren't goat's cheese and beetroot tart, which I found for years was the only option in a restaurant for vegetarians. And this is really good. I think I have gifted this book to five or six people, maybe even more, when people mention looking for good ideas and I'm like oh I know a book and so I send it to them and um, but there's another couple out so far but this is the original one this is the first one from a few years ago so you get this one and this one and also a hundred pound shopping voucher for the supermarket of your choice so when you found the recipes you want to make you can go and buy the ingredients uh it was going to be a Tesco's voucher then I thought well what if the person who wins doesn't live near Tesco's so that's doesn't that's no good to them so um and if you have either of these, just gift the one that comes to you onto a friend and uh, and pass it on. And and then whoever wins will get to choose the shopping uh, voucher that they want. So either Tesco's, Asda, Sainsbury's, Morrison's, Waitrose, wherever you shop, uh, we'll, we'll, I'll arrange the voucher to come to you. And uh, good luck. So two weeks. All you have to do is like this video, subscribe to my channel. And put a comment below letting me know what your go-to, like, favourite meal would be. Not necessarily comfort food, but if you just had some time to yourself, you could just sit down and read a book or watch the TV and eat something that you really love, what would it be? So mine would be a um, crispy jacket potato with butter and cheese. Lots of butter and lots of cheese favorite absolute favorite which you'll know if you watch any of my videos there's always a jacket potato in there sometime through the week but that's my favorite let me know what yours is and i'll pick a winner from all the comments uh two weeks today 
So without further ado, here is uh, the video for today, which is our meals of the week. I hope you enjoy it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Yeah. It is just before lunch and I'm going to make a um, flatbread with my starter discard. I want to make some bread for tomorrow, so I thought I'd make some flatbread to go with lunch. All I've done is heated my pizza stone up in the oven from cold to really hot on Gas Mark 9 and then put some olive oil on and I'm going to put about a cup of um, sourdough starter on there, spread it out, I'll spray a little olive oil on it, some garlic powder and put some dried rosemary on and then just pop it back in the oven for about 15 minutes on about Gas Mark 8. So I've just put about three quarters of a cup of water in there and then a cup and a half of flour and mix it all up and I'll just leave it on the side and it'll be lovely and bubbly for the evening when I want to make my bread ready for its first proving. are having omelettes. I don't like omelettes so I'm making a tiny little legume date soup for one. Just spray my pan with fry light, pop my onions in, pop my garlic in there and let that cook for a little bit and then I'll chop up my leek and my potatoes. Well one potato, not potatoes plural and uh, pop that in with about 500 millilitres of vegetable stock and that will just sit and cook while I make Stee and the children's lunch. Normally Stee and I have the same thing, but I do like to make eggs for them all because it's good for protein. And that will be ready as soon as theirs is finished. So the cheese I'm grating is for my soup and for the omelettes. The children are having cheese omelettes. So the same cheese for everybody's. I really must get new cheese grater it's like all bent in on the on one side there's my stock going in to my soup and I'll just move that onto the back burner so I've got the front burner while I'm cooking this is for Steve's uh, omelette he wants vegetables but he doesn't get a choice I just make him whatever I'm whatever I've decided he's going to make and he's happy with that He's having peppers, onions and mushrooms on his omelette uh, after I've made the children's omelettes. So that is my aluminium pancake pan from Aldi and it is brilliant, absolutely brilliant. It's just a one egg omelette, they're only little, they're only three and four, with a little bit of cheese and then I'll just fold them over and let them cool a minute and then give those to the children. and then get Steve's vegetables cooked, ready to go into his omelette. So this is going to be like a pizza omelette. I'm going to just use two eggs, cook them as a normal omelette on the uh, pancake pan on both sides and I have got some leftover pizza sauce which I'm going to spread over the uh, finished omelette and then put the vegetables on top with a little cheese and fold it over for his omelette and then I'll whiz up my soup 
and then everybody's lunch will be ready just within a minute or so of each other's. <laughs> same evening and we are having super noodles but posh super noodles I love super noodles but we always like pimp them up so in this one there is going to be onions garlic spring onion tomato pepper and I've got there some chili powder some madras curry powder and some turmeric and think what it was called there for a second and I'm just going to cook my vegetables up with a little fry light add the spices a little bit of water and then pop the uh, noodles in add a little bit more water and uh, the flavor packets from the noodles mix it all up and it is absolutely delicious these are barbecue beef so this will be like a uh, barbecue beef and vegetable curry noodles I suppose but wasn't without the actual beef and they are really are delicious you can use noodles for all sorts don't just eat them straight out the packet uh, we can because they're delicious like that or in a sandwich or on toast or however you want to do it but I like to add the other vegetables and then I don't feel so bad about eating just some packet noodles <laughs>
waffles are simmering with the lid on. I'm quickly making up my uh, bread for, to prove overnight. It's about three and a half cups of flour with a cup of starter and a cup of milk, a little bit of salt, um, add more flour if it's too um, wet and then I'll just whisk it, whisk it, knead it in the mixer with the dough hook. So easy, so, so, so easy and um, pop it in a great big bowl ready to prove overnight and it'll go in the oven in the morning. There we go, there is our um, barbecue beef super noodles, but I've uh, pimped them up and they are now um, curry beef noodles with vegetables. And this is how I'm going to serve them, and I've left one plain so you can see it. Vegetables in there, and then I've just put a little bit of cheese on and some spring onion. And it tastes lovely, it tastes absolutely delicious, and it's, uh, it's like a treat, but that feels a bit healthier because I've got vegetables in it. And you would have seen me, my mixer's on the go there, you would have seen me in the background just making some bread. And I'll just pop that into this great big bowl overnight, let it prove and then put it into the oven in the morning. And there is our uh, delicious Monday night, no not Monday, it's Tuesday, Tuesday night noodles. And I'm going to go and sit and eat those and read my book. This is breakfast the next day and the children are just having toast. Um, I'm not sure why, sometimes they ask for toast. I let them have what they want. They'll ask for toast and cereal and pancakes and all sorts. And Steve and I are having oats. We're having porridge, uh, half a cup each. So a cup of uh, porridge oats and then a tablespoon of cinnamon. And then I use three times the amount of liquid to the amount of oats. So it'll be a cup of milk and two cups of water and that'll just cook in a few minutes and everybody's will all be ready together hopefully Today, who wouldn't have Nutella on toast every day if they couldn't? But they don't have it every day, but I let them when they ask, it's absolutely fine. <laughs> pieces and with the apple we'll also have about a three quarters of a teaspoon of it's like not quite a full teaspoon of maple syrup and four tiny little squares of chocolate whichever is in the cupboard at the time not fussy and it is an absolutely delicious breakfast it fills you up and it's so so tasty <laughs> And to lunch. 
lunchtime. The children are having cheese sandwiches the, with cheese slices. They're the new Cathedral City ones, which they've made a little bit longer, the cheese slices. So they fit your bread better, which is obviously a gimmick, but handy at the same time. And today I'm just cutting them into shapes. Now and again, I'll cut the sandwiches into all different shapes. We've got car cutters and trains and all sorts. Today, we're learning about shapes in nursery. So we did hearts, circles and uh, rectangles. And we've got a baby bell, some cheese and onion crisps and some apple. Nice, simple pat lunch, I suppose, for a nursery day. Steve and I are having a um, split pea, yellow split pea soup slash dal and we're going to have the bread with it that I've been proving overnight. And there it is. And I've heated my Dutch oven for an hour at Gas Mark 9 in my oven. Just pop the oven, pop the oven, pop the bread with the baking paper straight in, lid on. And I'll cook that at Gas Mark 9 with the lid on for 15 minutes. Take the lid off and then another half an hour without the lid. And this is our um, curried split pea soup, some onions and some garlic. And I'll put some fry light in the pan. I really must get some new pans, they are moving to, they weren't expensive ones, but never mind. And some black mustard seeds and some cumin seeds. And when they start to splutter, pop in the onions and the garlic. You could use the pre-chopped garlic as well, or the puree, they work just as well. And then ginger puree, there you go, lazy ginger. Stir that all up, and then add your spices in to this before everything else. There's some turmeric, a teaspoon of turmeric, and some ground cumin. No, that wasn't ground cumin, that was madras curry powder. That is tandoori masala and some chilli powder. I just make it up as I go along, so it's hard to remember which is which. Some tomatoes. I think I also added a little bit of water in there as well because the spices were drying out a little bit in the pan. And I've used plum tomatoes and then I'll just mush them up with the spoon. Get a better quality of tomato that way. split peas and some vegetable stock and just let all of that cook together um, for about 45 minutes 40 45 minutes while the bread's cooking add any extra liquid if you need to I think I added there's about 500 milliliters there I think I added another 250 to it it did take quite a lot of water to uh, cook the peas and some spinach and there we go I just pop the lid on and let that simmer away while everything cooks Lunch today is a really quick jack of potato with some salad and we're going to have vegan mayo on top. The children had uh, dairy release bread sandwiches, uh, crisps, a yoghurt, that type of thing. Um, I put these both wrapped, each one in a piece of kitchen towel each, pop them, prick them, pop them in the microwave for eight and a half minutes and then into the oven for about 35 minutes. Um, they were sprayed with fry light and seasoned with salt and pepper. And they're delicious, really easy, just while I was washing the dishes and doing other, thi other things. And then just a super quick salad with it. 
and we're gonna have the vegan mayo as a dressing I use this one because I don't have anything against eggs but I, well I do I don't like the flavor of them but I would normally always have mayonnaise but I like the taste of this one it tastes delicious so I'm gonna have that as a dressing and that's just a super easy lunch for today and for tea tonight we are having uh, lasagna we had bolognese earlier in the week or well, no last week which is in last week's video and whatever was left over I kept and I just added some onions some more mushrooms some red peppers and what else to oh a bit of the pizza sauce I had in the fridge which was homemade anyway to the mixture to um, fill it out a bit the children have had exactly the same and um, also in a little um, ceramic dish and I just halved it between them and ate. they ate the lot and what I've done today differently is instead of making a bechamel where I layer it in between with the um, lentil bolognese for my lasagna I've only put it on top so I've got less flour and butter and things in my dish um, and I mixed through about 50 grams of light Philadelphia into my bechamel to make it creamy and a little bit cheesy and then just put a little bit of cheddar, uh, reduced fat cheddar on top of my lasagna and it's gone lovely and crispy and this is just the way we like it and it's but it's still there's a thick layer of of cheesy like type bechamel underneath it but not all the way through the lasagna if that makes sense because I like to put it in my layers um, and we are having it with a couple of pieces of sourdough which I've toasted and then rubbed a uh, half a garlic on like a cut piece of garlic tiny bit of butter on it and some tomatoes so it's like a lazy bruschetta salt and pepper on we've got some uh, little jam lettuce and some spring onions with a little mayo and there is our tea oh and some jam shed wine because then um, because it's thursday so wine yeah <laughs> it's been one of those days um and there is our tea for this evening steve and i are eating on our own this evening the children had sausages for tea earlier on uh, before Steve finished work and we are having a sort of tapas I suppose I wanted to try a paella but didn't know if I'd like it or not I mean I sure I will but so I made some other things to go with it and just had a thoroughly nice time in the kitchen dancing away to Spotify um, a, a lovely subscriber Emma recommended that I um, use a Tesco recipe and I didn't use the Tesco recipe but I did use her recommendation of putting cannellini beans in it which was a brilliant idea because I had no I didn't know what to put in it um, instead of artichokes because all the vegetarian recipes call for artichokes but I think this will be uh, delicious and um, yeah I followed a recipe from a, a book a cookbook I have by Rose Elliott which I absolutely love one of my favourite cookbooks and it looks delicious unfortunately my pan was only small but I just halved the recipe and it's only for us two anyway and then leftovers tomorrow and then I've made some patatas bravas just uh, made some potato cubes in the air fryer and made the um, slightly spicy tomato sauce followed it from the BBC Goodreads recipe and I made a very quick flatbread from my sourdough starter because I didn't have any other bread and then just um rubbed a cut piece of garlic over the top of it and then spread a little grated tomato on top that I have um, been sitting on a sieve so all the liquid comes out and put a little salt in it just rubbed it on top a bit like the tomato Spanish tomato bread you get but not obviously because it's a flatbread we've got some mayonnaise I made some creamy mushrooms garlic mushrooms um, just a tiny little on bit of onion um, lots of garlic and just cooked it in a little pan added the mushrooms and then I put a little tiny bit of butter in and some flour added a tiny bit of milk and then some light Philadelphia to make it super creamy so like a super uh, creamy um, garlic mushrooms and then we've got some cheese because I've been to the deli today so we've got some Cheshire some cheddar and some Doddington which is the local hard cheese and some uh, mixed leaves and I mean, I don't have any manchego or anything, so it's not particularly Spanish, but it's still our little tapas. There we go. That is our Friday night tea. This evening was supposed to be homemade burgers and um, leftover paella, but 
it's just been a challenging day with the little ones. They're three and four and it's rained non-stop for days and days here so they are frustrated um, and it's sometimes a little bit more difficult if it's really heavy rain getting out with our, my little girl with her hearing aids but hopefully the snow's coming now so we can play in the snow. Um, so we've got some sandwiches instead, um, triple cheese and onion sandwiches with a tiny bit of sweet chilli at the bottom and then some leaves and mayo, vegan mayo at the top. These bread buns, I went to B&M's because I like to get my crisps from there if I can. I went really early in the morning when it was really quiet, but all the things I get from there that I can't get from anywhere else, and these were 10 pence for four. Um, I sound smug because I was dead chuffed. I never get a bargain like that. I never get like the yellow label things because we get loads of deliveries and everything. Um, because the date was today, so I thought, oh, okay, then I'll just use them today. So 10 pence for four bread buns. Crack on. And uh, we, I got uh, nine crumpets for 20 pence as well. So maybe Saturday mornings are the way to go for a b and fresh food bargain. So it was brilliant. Uh, anyway, I, <laughs> I'll get on with it. And we've got some, I suppose, like dirty fries or pizza fries, but without the sauce. I've made some chips in the air fryer. You see them there. And um, while they were cooking, I just quickly cooked in a pan some red onion and some mixed peppers and um, and some garlic. And then I uh, put the chips into here, topped with some mozzarella and cheddar, some tomatoes, the onions and peppers, and some jalapenos. And that is our, like, um, I don't really know what you would call them. Loaded fries. There we go vegetarian loaded fries delicious and that is our i'm gonna put some of that on the plates and uh and that is our tea for saturday night sunday dinner is really simple today i've been busy doing housework and jobs and things around the house so i put a, a piece of gammon in the slow cooker for uh, steve isaac and Aris, and that's been in there all day and it's like come out like shredded gammon and then we have some roast potatoes, some mashed potato, a uh, stee and mine, mine, mine and stee's mashed potato has got some black pepper and garlic powder stirred through and the children's is just plain. And we've got some sage and onion, pack, a pack of sage and onion stuffing and some frozen broccoli, frozen peas, frozen sweet corn and some tinned carrots, really easy and some onion gravy. And, uh, but delicious because roast potatoes always make it better. It's our uh, Sunday dinner. I have uh, had a headache all day. Um, today has been a struggle. It's one of those ones where you want to close your eyes and just go to sleep and go back to bed. So this has been hard to do. Just even chopping up these couple of vegetables. So I'm going to make a really, really quick, 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 I can't even speak, cheats curry, sort of. I suppose, as you can see from all the ingredients, the children had sausage and mash uh, earlier. They've just had a bath, they're going to bed. I'm going to eat this and I'm going to get into bed and read my book and probably be asleep after a couple of paragraphs. So what I'm going to do, really easy vegetable curry. You can put any veggies in you want, as long as you cook them properly, obviously. Fry light, it's going to be quite healthy. Fry light in there and uh, put the onions in and then add in the spices. I'm going to do one to two tablespoons of teaspoon sorry one to two teaspoons of turmeric about a tablespoon of madras curry powder uh, two teaspoon maybe a teaspoon and a half of tandoori masala the turmeric and the madras curry powder just from tesco's the tandoori masala i get from grape tree and i believe they're all around the country i'm not sure but it, they do great little spice mixes um in with the onions and then i'm going to add some ginger garlic and chili from the freezer. I bought these ages ago from Asda. I'm probably going to put about a tablespoon of garlic in. Love garlic. And um, maybe a half a teaspoon, maybe a teaspoon of chilli and a teaspoon of ginger. Cook that all some more and then add in my peppers and mushrooms. Let them cook and then I've got some peeled new potatoes in a tin and some coconut milk. If I need any more liquid I'll add some vegetable stock, add, add some salt, and then hopefully that should just be a delicious, really simple, quick curry. So it is uh, 
at the moment. So hopefully this should be ready in about 15 minutes. Let's see how I do. And there we go, there is our uh, really quick and easy curry. I did add another tablespoon of, didn't, another tablespoon, I added a tablespoon of tomato puree, a half a teaspoon of garam masala and about 200 millilitres of vegetable stock and some salt to season. And that was it. And it's uh, worked out really well. Steve does have some potatoes in there as well. They're just underneath his peppers. They're like upside down. And I don't know why I've put the the rice around the edge it's like something I used to, I suppose this way I used to eat curry as a child and it has lots of sauce with it this one so I thought I would do it this way so it doesn't fall off the plate there we go there is our easy can't be bothered curry tonight Steve and I are having a black bean and lentil chili and I've made some I had some new potatoes they were from the market at the weekend when I did my local shop but I was worried they didn't have much flavour so I've boiled them and then popped them into a roasting tin with the smallest knob of butter it might have been about 15 or 20 grams and just once it melted just coated them and roasted them and they taste delicious like buttery new potatoes and um, maybe these ones are classed as baby potatoes or salad potatoes but they definitely aren't new um and the children had the same they had sweet these potatoes as well i did experimented on them <laughs> to taste taste tested with the children earlier on and they had a, a turkey dinosaur and some sweet corn with theirs um and we've opted for a chili and it's nice and spicy it's got two chilies in it and jalapenos and chili powder and some uh cayenne pepper because the children are eating with us and we've got some uh mixed salad leaves with a little bit of iceberg lettuce and drink for some crunch and some of these tiny new potatoes and a little finely grated cheese nice and simple and we've got lots of leftovers of the chili and we're going to have nachos in a few days time with the leftovers 